Hi everybody, I am back with some more planners in the shop. These are very similar to the last batch that I had. Just a few little differences here and there, but the cover itself is the same. The inside is going to be a little different. So there's a couple of each available and each one is going to be exactly the same. Like these two are the same and these two are the same. So this time I made different sizes. So that's one of the difference. Last time I sold a couple of the um, A6 size, which the inserts are 4 by 6 and I'm going to put these kind of together once I tell you what sizes this, these are. These two here are B6 and the insert sizes are 5 by 7. These are pocket ring bound, so there's rings in here and the inserts are 3.25 by 4.75. So the difference in size with the three of them, here's the B6, here is the A6, these two are traveler's notebooks and then this one is the pocket. Now this one's going to be a little bigger than usual and I'll explain why in a minute but here's the difference in sizes plus there's also um, I haven't made them but there is this fourth size which is the standard ring bound um, what am I missing here I'm also missing the pocket traveler's notebook which is close to this but I guess it's more like in between the two of these um, so I only make certain sizes in my shop because I'm the only one making them there's nobody else here helping me out I don't have little elves or anything so is this the right one um, plus I do have a full-time job and of course I got other things that I got to do so I only make certain sizes plus I only make sizes and the types of planners that I personally would use or have used or you know will have in my own stash so that I can actually show you and show how I use them and stuff so I don't do happy planner stuff any kind of happy planner stuff and I don't do the Hobonichi and um, so the only sizes I'll have to list them somewhere you know when I when I remember to do so but right now this is what I have the pocket ring bound it's actually going to be called wide because the ring is wider and the B6 travelers notebook now let me show you the difference here is a pocket ring and you see how thin that is this one here these are my original rings that I had when I first started making the rings then this one is a wider version you can see in there so it's wider so I actually had to adjust the size of my cover and make it a half an inch wider the the height here is the same which is five and a half I think so the cover is ten inches long by five and a half so you know if you're gonna if you want to stuff your planner then you know you might want this one which is a wider ring so this is something I recently ordered and you can see the difference I mean I'm, I'm good with both sizes this one's the thin one of course you know the more you feel it when you pop open the rings everything wants to fly out but you got more space in this wider ring okay so I will list these down below FYI stuff goes fast I do post in my Facebook group first um, I've been giving my members uh, a head start so they may or may not be available by, by the time you're watching this but I still like to share with you what I have you know what I've been working on because these are my projects now not like before I was doing other kind of crafts but this is my craft this is my project um, everything here is pretty much handmade by me not perfect I'm gonna tell you that right now because you know people might be looking for perfection and these are not perfect so although my stitching is getting a lot better with the sewing machine but you know they're still not perfect but I'm okay with that I like imperfections so and that also shows that it's handmade if you want perfect there are other shops um, online for beautiful perfect planners most of them are leather and you're gonna be paying the same price for for the ones you see there but without all the goodies inside so like a $50 cover and nothing else you're getting everything here all the goodies everything to coordinate and the inserts too and this is the only way I make my planners all right so let me get started they are the same as far as what you get like each set so I'm only going to show you one of each I'm going to put aside the bigger one for now um, they all do have the same pens all of them they all have the same dangle, but on this one I put it on the rings. The same paperclip dangle, the same 
paper clips that I made, all three of these. And what else? The same elastic that's holding the pen, same lavender elastic. And again, all this material. So I'm not going to go over what I, where I got everything from. I'm just going to show you what I did. I will show you some things like this right here I showed you last time. It's actually from Hobby Lobby. This trim and the cover, I think, the, the fabric too. I do only use white. Um, I just have a thing. It's like I don't want to change out my thread. I've always been using white thread, and I kind of like that look. And some of the fabric, it won't even show, but like this one here, you will see it, but you won't you barely see it on that. So, you know. Um, so this is the ring bounds, and you can change these out because it just has the flat um, screw in there. You can change out your cover if you want. Okay, so let me just <clears throat> scoot this over. It's so nice and chunky. I like that. All right, so let me take this out and look at my my inside lining. So this also is Hobby Lobby. So a lot of the stuff that I use is from Hobby Lobby. But I just love that hollow. Last time I did like a gold um, faux leather finish. You will get pockets here sewn in. And then that's the back. I'm just going to leave these out and I'll show them later. But that's what it looks like. The ring bounds will get um, two page markers. I didn't cut the notches. Cause in the ones that I have, I've cut notches. But I didn't do it this time. I left them. But you can cut out little notches if you want to be able to just pull these out. But I just left them. It's up to you if you want to do that. I did cut notches in one of the things in there. You'll see that in a minute. But these are called page lifters. And one of the good things about that is so that it doesn't get, you know, sometimes with rings when you close up, the pages tend to stay back. Like this one wants to stay. And then, you know, it'll mess up your, your insert. So this kind of helps out that. So these rings will come with two. But you're also going to get, oh, let me show you the... And you can move that around if you want. You can just add it to here. I just like dangling things on the ring bounce on the bottom. So you'll get the shaker. And this one's a loose, you know, it's by itself. It's not like the traveler's notebook where you have to have two parts to it. And there's one big glitter spider in there. And again, I'm using my kit Pastelloween in here for all the papers and the cutouts and the cards and everything. Um, because people were asking me if I was going to make more of the last couple that I made. So <clears throat> I am using my kit for these. And these are um, dividers um, have pockets in them. So all these are my designs. I didn't put tabs, but you are going to get the tabs if you want to use them. So that's the first one. And here's your washi sample card. And I am loving this one here. And I wish I picked up more. So I'm going to be looking for them. They are from Dollar Tree, this washi. It's like a hollow. It comes with two. And the other color that came with this one is more up, um, like pink. So in my digital kit, you get a washi sample card. And this is the actual size of it, which is um, usually two. The card itself, without the bat thing, is two by three. Two by three. And then a little extra with that paper clip that's in that design. And um, I did different kinds of pockets with all of these. Um, dividers. Now you might see, I think most of you are going to see the line because the paper that I used for this wasn't the cardstock. I used the thinner paper. So you will see the lines, but it's laminated so it's not going to get ruined. Um, all my planners will usually come with the um, undated inserts, the month, week, and then I think this one's going to have. Yeah, and these will come with the blanks. So there's three sections in here. I do have a, I got two kits. I have a small, like a three part kit to just print out your undated monthly, undated weekly, and lined for the pocket. And I also have like a mega kit with a whole bunch of stuff for almost all the planners that I carry. All right, and then you're gonna get one, just an, an empty pocket here. So you can use it however you like. I seal these myself, you know, they're not store-bought pockets, um, so, you know, it's cut, 
and sealed by me. So here is another, this is a side loading, it's a divider slash pocket and there's a little sticker sheet in here from Dollar Tree that I just tucked in. So here is your page marker. I usually put stuff in here but I didn't this time because I left everything here. But this one has the notches cut out so you can kind of follow that if you want to notch out anything in there. And this way <clears throat> you can just pop it in and take it out you know and put it like if you're going to use it in your week you know pop it in here as your page marker now it does have the little spider web um, pocket which is from my kit and so is this it's just all laminated together and I decided to go with this really cute ruffle silver glittery um, elastic which I think is from Walmart and then I have a pen and the color went perfect with this and sorry if I yawn I don't know where I try not to but I just came home from work so here's the dangle and it's a pale pink dangle on a black paper clip here's your other clip I love these black and white stripe which I still can't remember where I found them but I know it was one of the local stores and here's your undated weekly and here with this one I actually laminated some um, confetti they come in tubes that was on clearance from um, Michaels and I was going to notch this out too but I'm going to let you guys do it if you want to whoever picks these up you can notch it out so you can move it around I don't have I'm like barely out or almost out of uh, Halloween sticky notes so you're only going to get this but I thought I'd do a little extra and just give you this cute um, piece here it's just laminated confetti looks like acetate and then here's another pocket another angle but different side and then this is just the blank inserts and here is this clip now last time I made these using the material from um, Hobby Lobby and then the extra strips of the you know the fake leather stuff here but this time I just wrapped because I only have a little bit of this left see the difference I wrapped this around it <clears throat> So I wanted to make it a little different. I would say I get bored repeating everything over and over, so I, you know, try to change it up. This last one here, <clears throat> I was just using up my scraps. Um, again, you know, some places you might see where the blade's gone a little too far, but I don't go all the way through. So I was using the scraps to make an extra, um, not really a divider, but because this is the back, and then I put this, I didn't want it to be plain on the back. So I made a pocket with some vellum that I printed and I just made a curved pocket this time. I just wanted to try that out so you can stick stuff in there like say, well this was probably too big but this will still tuck in there and you can see through it so that would be a cute place to tuck all your goodies that I'm going to show you because I still haven't even showed you the extras. So that's the last one you see now you can see through and it won't be just white. Um, on that last page and then that's the last pocket I love the hollow so again both of them are the same and now let's look at the little goodies here that you're gonna get okay so you will get a side loading well it's not really side loading it's just a credit card size pocket but it's cut this way instead of on the side I say side loading because when I put it in it's on the side <laughs> but it's not really um, but it fits your credit card size so I put one I didn't put them in here did I no I didn't hold on one second I usually already stick one in but because um, my business card is what I'm talking about so I'm gonna stick it back here I always put it in somewhere this way you see that there's a pocket there so that'll be there so you get one of those and you're going to get these uh, list pad notes that say fabulicious I mean fabulous fabulicious would be nice too so you'll get that 
You'll get the, all the cards that are in my kit. So Booyah, Cat Got Your Tongue, Bite Me, If the Broom Fits, Home is Where Your Ghoul's At, and Too Cute to Spook. So all of those cards. This was actually off like one sheet here. But these are the actual tabs. So it's sticker paper so if you want to use those. And then some of the little words from the kits. I just, you know, moved everything around so I can you know, have a sheet. But for this, I just cut them down to fit the pockets. Two of the sticker sheets. These are the same ones from the last um, planners that I made. So these are all from my kit. So if you like pastel Halloween stuff, this is great for you. And then lastly, the die cuts from my kit. And an extra sticker and an extra black and white paper clip. I'm going to show you which ones you get. They might be different from the last time because I did not save that file when I was doing it. And I, I accidentally deleted it or closed it before saving. So I had to redo it and see which images I had. But you will get this dimensional skull with the bow. It's a sticker. And then, of course, my die cuts from my kit which I you know print and cut myself some back there spider so really cute there's a lot I did a lot of them for you and the pen this has like little ghosts that look like you can shake them because it looks like one of those shaker pens this one the lips and then this one and this is fun what I do with mine these open planners is I just punch holes and put them in and use them like a little tab so it kind of peeks out or you can even do it this way but I, with the size you know it probably will work great this way so that's what you get in this particular pocket and I'm going to show you the other one again it's similar except that it's a traveler's notebook and it's a different size so I'll be right back all right so now let's go over to the B6 again the inserts for this I forgot to put this in here the insert sizes for this one is five by seven um there we go and they are going to have three booklets inside three inserts with a folder as well um, again it's going to be the undated weekly undated monthly and a blank they are the same so we're just going to look at one they're a nice size i did put the dangle here again you can move it around put it on the here if you'd like or you can actually hang it from the elastics on the inside too if you want the pens the same all the stickers are the same so we're not going to go through that I did leave the sheet hole on this one though and all of the clips are the same the shaker is going to be a little bit different the paper that I use is the same um, for this you will get these um, list notes and this one same lining in here Okay, so the shaker is a little different and here I put two images so you kind of have to play with it to find it but there's a ghost um, it's a single-sided ghost there's a ghost in here hiding ah, he's in there and a bat and then just some more shaker shapes you know Halloween shapes and sequence and of course this is two sides so it's got the shaker and then the other side is the pocket which is just one pocket here I did use cardstock for that particular pocket but the rest of these insert covers are paper with the removable covers I do have a tutorial on that I do have lots of tutorials on my playlist that are listed down below for both travelers notebooks and ring bounds um, <clears throat> and these inserts or booklets are not attached to the covers or the paper covers either so you can change them out there is one extra pocket here this is a little bit different and then of course all of these turn into pockets as well here's the same washi sample card so we're not going to go over that 
um, of course your inserts the images are going to be bigger so if you need more space this is the planner for you then we have the next one same dangle again on the paper clip and this and then this is the week on two pages so this one here what I did this time is I took a clear pocket it's a big one that I got um, offline and I actually laminated it um, I stuck it on my what's that called oh, oh my god I said it earlier so anyway I, you know I printed this out onto it's not acetate um, vellum and then I stuck the pocket down I had to trim a little bit off and then I just ran it through my laminator and cut carefully because it's a little bit different um, because the little web corner is a little too small for this size same cards I'm not you know go through the same little stickers here but anyway that's how I made that this is the page marker um, the folder is made of this design here it is made out of cardstock and this time I put your sticky notes over here so same thing like I said, I don't have um, Halloween sticky notes, so I'm going to have to look. You are going to get a Target dollar spot pocket, pocket where you can add anywhere. And then another um, credit card pocket here. And then the last insert, again, same clip. You can move everything around. I just set these up. The last insert is the blank. And that's pretty much it. So... I mean, it's pretty much the same thing just as a TN instead and um, of course it's bigger if you like to do October dailies this would be fun planner for that okay so that's it they're in the shop now links will be down below again things do go fast so may or may not be available I just like to share what I've made even when the stuff is already sold and this is what I've been doing you know I haven't been showing up here that often but I have been busy so here it is Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.